Hey, Tyler, Theater Design Company, doing a video today where we're going to uh, do a timed video. We're actually going to install a set of Samsung wings or Samsung brackets, and we're going to try their paper template first. Then we're going to pull that off, and we're going to try a template from Install Template Co., and just see how much faster theirs is. And then stay tuned to the end of the video, and I'll give you some updates on Install Template Co. You've probably seen a couple of our videos that we're using their product on, and I'll give you a little insight on that. Thanks a lot. All right, so let's jump into this. Get the uh, paper template out from Samsung. See what it's gonna take to do it. So if you're doing a Samsung frame TV and you've never done one, these instructions will uh, count towards just using their paper template. So don't skip the video thinking that it's just for this install template co. I'm gonna mark that at 75. So we've already got our blue tape out in our pocket here. You can see just how much of a pain in the butt. Now, that's the real world. You're not going to have a table to lay this out on, most likely at a home, or you're doing an install. So that's our 75 mark. Feel good about that. Then we're going to mark the bottom. So we put our arrows together. So we now have a 75-inch template. Another trick on this. This piece of paper will get in your way. So again, I know the trick, so this still takes a while to do it with a paper template. So take that. Now, to get the center of this, you think you would think that they would figure that out, but they didn't. So center of it. And I've used this template on other installs, so again, that's really not fair because it still would take a little bit longer. And then on this video, we're going to assume this is the center of the wall. We've put a mark here already. And so what we need to do now is take our template. So we're gonna mark it right there, that center. Again, some blue tape. So blue tape that on there. And then what we do is pull your hand over, grab that corner. Pull your hand over, grab that corner. So you would think that that looks good, but this has to be perfectly level. Otherwise, the TV doesn't mount perfectly level. You can mount it this way, and the TV shifts off center. And then these two arms correspond with the brackets that go on the TV. So you don't have much leeway there. And again, it pops down into the TV when you do that. Just another quick note. Only use these if you're going into wood. Throw them away if you're not. So next step on this, is the customer wants the TV obviously to cover up the enclosure. And so we gotta find our height and our bottom. So Samsung has provided a kind of a cheat sheet on this. So our measurement C and D is what we're looking for. And so what I like to do when I'm doing one of these is I'll grab my pencil. See if I can find my pencil. And then I like to mark those down on one of the templates. So for 75, A is 13.7, so I'll put that one up top here. And then D, which is our bottom measurement, D on that is 30.2. So C, I apologize, is 7.6. I was looking at the wrong one, so that's how easy that can get messed up. So 7.6 from here. That's top of the TV, 30.2 down. That's the bottom of the TV. So if the customer wants the TV at this height, I, I like to tape those out first. And so the customers told me that they would like the TV to be at the bottom of some outlets here. They want the TV to be at this height. So that doesn't look like it's any problem. So 7.6 comes down. So what we want to do now is just grab our tape measure. Go like this. So there's 7.6. And then from that, it's 30.2. So we're going to pull down 7.6. So we are well under that as far as how that frame is going to work. So then our next step is going to be to find this measurement to this template. 
So the best way to do that, this is where it starts getting a little tricky, is just kind of undo the tape. And then just kind of get an eyeball on it. And so what we'll do on there, and again, this, this ceiling here is only seven foot. This was an eight foot ceiling. This would look more in spec. But TV, customer wanted it there. They want seven, six. So we're very close to that measurement that they want. So what we can do on that, come down here, pull this down a little, pull this down a little again. We've got to check our center marks. We've got to change. And then from the bottom, it's going to be that 30.2. So we're well under that. It's great viewing TV on a couch, not good for art, but again, it's a demo test thing. So now what we got to do is get this arm and this arm perfectly straight. If they're not level, it throws the whole thing off. So what I usually do, just because I've been doing this, is I'll take and grab a big level. See that it's off there. So we know this corner is good. That's our measurement. I'm going to take our bracket. We're just going to pull this tape down until our bracket's level. Get pretty darn close. And then we're going to use the tape the best we can to confirm to check this arm. So we're down a little bit. I'm going to pull it back up. And then take and go across the two. Now again, if you're doing, if you have a small level, it's hard. So the other trick is to use the big level. So this point to this point, it's perfectly level. So what we will end up doing now, and I'm not kidding you, those wings do need to be that level. If they're off, it takes the TV and takes it off center. So if you're putting it in a niche or anything, you're going to have a problem. So we've confirmed this corner's level. Tape. So we've confirmed this corner's level. Tape that. Now... We take and level this. That stayed level. That needs to go up a hair. And then that one's level. So that's where I would probably call the uh, timer on that. So what we'd end up doing, since we're probably going to do Hilties here, is we would do a Hilti here, Hilti here, or Toggler. Toggler here, toddler here, there, and there. So four, and then four. And then the way we do these is on something like this in drywall, we take a 650 Klein, which is a, and we just poke a hole. So we poke a hole there, 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 and there, there. That gives us a template to do our drill, and we're off to the races. So that's where I'm going to time it right there. So the cool thing is, I'm not going to leave any of these measurements up here. Chalk that to the side. So the next part would be to use the company install template co. So again, we know this is our measurement. The customer wanted to come down that much from the ceiling. Okay, so we used the paper template. Now let's see how fast we can do it with this prototype template from install template co. So they're telling us with this template, left wing, center wing, right wing. They're going to do a decal on here that's going to mark our top and bottom heights so you don't have to refer back to the Samsung manual. It's going to be the same slot here. They're telling us they're putting a slot here in the center. It's got a sender indication mark there and there. And then it's got placement on the wings if you wanted to double check. So this is actually where your TV wings would drop down. Those are the brackets that go on the back of a Samsung frame. So on this one, same as the other video, the customer wanted the TV down roughly 10 inches. So we'll grab a piece of tape. And then we'll measure down 10 inches from the top of the ceiling. So there's roughly the top of our TV. So on this set here, again, they're telling us just a two foot level. Could probably use a smaller one, but two foot seems to work well. And then again, just like the paper template, we had our center mark here. We had that mark before, so we're not messing with the time. And so we were to come down our seven six. That's our center mark. 
So that's our 7-6 mark. I'm going to put a little line there, pencil. Okay, so again, center there. And then again, they're just telling us that we're going to take, going to level that out. And again, these have no flex, so we just take our pencil. We mark all four corners. So all four corners are marked just like the frame template. And that's it. So let's call time on that and see where we compare to the paper template using the install template code template. And uh, hopefully it's a little bit faster. All right, if you watched this all the way through, you saw that we did a paper template, took about seven minutes, and that's with someone that's uh, done this a lot. We've used that paper template on probably 100 plus installs. So I know all the tricks on where to fold it and kind of how to do that to speed things up. Plus we already had it out of the box. And then you saw it took about a minute, a little minute 20 to do the template using install template co. So saving about six minutes. And what we're finding when we're out in the field and you have that template, you can actually pull up the, uh, bottom or the top of that TV, make a mark, pull the center, put that template up and make everything marked out. Use a uh, chalk shot to mark the holes and you can do it in about a minute flat. We did one in about 60 seconds. Uh, so that's saving just a massive amount of time. But the big time saver is, is not have to level it. You can use it to center between your wings. You can do it to confirm things. And then the final version of this thing actually has a decal on it that gives us all the sizes so that speeds things up uh, so to fully disclose that so we're a uh, minor ownership of the install template co that's why you're seeing a few of the videos this will be the last video that we kind of show their product unless we're out in a field doing a frame tv and film it uh, install template co has its own channel and any training or any videos on that will be uh, from that point on uh, content coming up for this channel is going to be some home theater tours and then we are full bore on our demo room and uh, we'll go on, on vacation next week and then after that you'll see a ton of updates all right thanks a lot